So here I have three data frames with the same data set loaded in each of the data frames. You can see if I go one, two, three to activate them, I have basically this min county data set loaded in each. Now I can right click and activate a particular data frame and then I can look at its properties and I can see the data frame coordinate system, if I click on that, is set to this UTM zone 15 north N8083 coordinate system. Right? So I can always check that by going to the right click and properties for the frame and then up to the coordinate system and look at what's set. And it's the same for all three. Now if I go into the layout view, you can see I have all three shown here, all three data frames. Now we can change the coordinate system on the fly. If I go select a different coordinate system, right? So I'm going up here instead of a projected to a geographic coordinate system. And I'll pick this North American N8083. Then I can change it to a on-the-fly coordinate system that's N8083, on-the-fly projection. So it's the same data. It's showing in two different coordinate systems. And it does that by projecting between reading it off the disk and throwing it on the screen into those new coordinates. The values, that is the X and Y, for a particular point on the ground, like the northeast corner of Ramsey County, are different in the different coordinate systems. And so this is this on-the-fly projection. Data frame 1 is in one, data frame 2 is in another. Same data, different projection on the fly. Now I can do this to as many data frames as I want from that data. So I can change this second one to the California State Plane coordinate system for a particular zone and apply it. And it tweaks the data because it's really not one you'd use here. But now the data for this data frame 2 are in this California State Plane coordinate system. So again, the same data on the fly projection this time from the UTM into this California state plane. So I have two different projections from the original data. So here I have these two data sets that I've reprojected, and I can activate my third one here, again, to show the UTM zone 15 coordinates. And I can then look at the properties and change this data frame to project on the fly to yet another coordinate system. Do this as many times as I want. Here I'm going to a coordinate system that's used in the continental United States for the lower 48 that shows a minimal distortion across all 48 states. And uh, this is one that's commonly used and it doesn't appear to change the values too much from the UTM coordinate systems. The projections are moderately similar. The coordinates will change though and they won't line up on top of each other. Now I can look at the coordinates in the lower right corner in any of these data frames where I'll activate the geographic coordinates. And this shows you an issue with ARC. Geographic coordinates should be in latitude and longitude. When you do on-the-fly projection, it doesn't know what coordinates you want. So you have to also look at the general tab here and change the coordinates to those that are standard for that projection. Now these geographic projections are in decimal degrees or in degrees, minutes, seconds. And it gives you bad values because it doesn't know what you want unless you set them to the compatible ones that are understood to exist for that projection. State planes have feet or meters. UTMs usually have meters. And so if you're going to be reading the coordinates off, you have to make sure you get both set the projection right and the units. Here we see all three layouts shown together. The thing is, it can only do these projections if the data know or record what the projection is, the PRJ file, because ARC is looking at that PRJ, figuring out what the input projection is and what coordinate projection it needs to go to the output you specify. So you need your PRJ file.